In this video, I'm going to show you how to personalize your marketing email subject lines using MailChimp, purely because this is one of the most popular email marketing services used by small to medium-sized businesses. Now, as I've mentioned before in my other videos, I have absolutely no affiliation with MailChimp whatsoever. I merely use it as an example due to it being the most widely used service. Now, other similar email marketing websites such as Sender and Aweber have similar ways of doing this, but I can't possibly provide guidance on how to do this with all of the different email marketing websites out there. So first of all, I need to explain the use of tags which the MailChimp platform uses. Now MailChimp offers merge tags for all kinds of dynamic information. You can simply paste a merge tag into your email campaign to add personalized or dynamic content. Now your MailChimp audience contains audience fields that refer to your contacts information. Each audience field corresponds to a unique merge tag, which looks like a snippet of text wrapped in special characters like this. You type star, vertical bar, then the tag, and then the vertical bar, and then another star. When you insert a merge tag into your campaign, MailChimp replaces the tag with the content stored in the corresponding audience field. For example, to include your contact's email address in your email content, you would place the email merge tag into your content where you would like your contact's email address to appear. Now when your contact receives the campaign, they'll see their own email address where the merge tag was placed. Pretty cool, right? Now you can do this with lots of different things such as inserting today's date, translating languages, and adding in your own logo. However, for the purposes of this video, we want to insert a merge tag into the subject line to include the recipient's name. So if we head over to our MailChimp platform, uh, this is a demo account that I use purely for educational purposes. So if we click on create campaign, for the purpose of this, we'll just create a standard email. I'll just give the campaign name a test email campaign merge tags, just for the purposes to show you how to do this. We'll click begin. And so we have the different fields to fill out. First of all, we'll check the from field. So this is by default, my name and the email address that I want the email to be sent from. Then we go into the subject, so we add the subject line. Now essentially I want to personalize this. So I want to say, hey Fred, have you heard our big news? Now obviously everybody in my database is not called Fred, so we need to personalize this. And personalizing it is dead easy. We simply enter a merge tag. So we type in star vertical line F N A M E vertical line and a star again. And that is as simple as that. And when you've sent that email to all of your recipients, that merge tag will be replaced with their first name, just like this. Now, if for whatever reason you don't want to use your recipient's first name, then you can use their last name with a Mr, Mrs, or a Miss before it, simply by changing the F to an L. Now, of course, if you wanted to do this, you would need to know the sex and marital status of your recipients and segment your audience list in relation to this. But if you felt this was appropriate for your type of business, then of course, this is possible with merge tags. Now I bet you thought that this would take ages and be really technical. However, as you can see, it's not. Anybody can do this. So why not give this a go with your next email marketing campaign and see what effect this has on your email open rates. So if you found this video useful, please hit like and subscribe to my channel for loads more useful videos for your side hustle and small business. Also check out sidegigjunction.com where you'll find loads of side hustle ideas and loads of free resources to help you build your side hustle or small business.